Horror titles are no longer the niche genre they used to be, with terrors and frights now a remarkably popular medium for both films and games. Luckily for fans of Fear and Xbox Game Pass owners, there is a downright treasure trove of horror games available on the Xbox Game Pass library. From gritty survival experiences to jump-scared-filled co-op adventures, this collection presents more than enough for a decent offering selection for players. Steeled nerves and a willingness to be terrified are the only things needed, well, I mean, aside from a Game Pass subscription, obviously, to dive right in. It's worth noting that games come in and out of the service every month, so a game mentioned on this list might not always remain on Xbox Game Pass forever. Welcome to Game Rant, everyone. My name is Jeffrey. Today, let's discuss 10 of the best horror games to play right now on Xbox Game Pass. Number 10, Darkest Dungeon. Darkest Dungeon's core is that of a roguelite RPG, but it wears its Lovecrafty and dark fantasy trappings so well that it's sure to sate any horror hound's thirst for thrills, both corporeal and psychological. As the unlucky inheritor of a cursed estate, the player's job is to hire, manage, and guide an initially hardy band of adventurers as they purge the recently acquired lands of an ancient evil awakened by their ancestor. You know, just normal family stuff. However, battling unnameable cosmic horrors takes tolls both physically and mentally. The heroes can become unwound by the stresses of combat, falling to madness as often as they fall to blades, teeth, and tentacles alike. The art style of Darkest Dungeon is worthy of enough praise, but the voice talent of the narrator and game's roguelite nature serves to really drive home the horror aspects in a way that's entirely unique. Number 9. Amnesia Collection one of the finest horror additions to the Xbox Game Pass library arrives in the form of the Amnesia Collection. This install comes with The Dark Descent, A Machine for Pigs, and Justine, so that's basically three terrifying horror games in one package. Obviously the jewel of the collection is The Dark Descent, which is a genre-defining title. Millions of people flock to watch Let's Plays of their favorite streamers and YouTubers attempting to uncover the secrets of the orb and relearn why they had to kill Alexander. The scares in Amnesia are expertly crafted, bringing a perfect balance of tension and fright. If you haven't played these classic games, now's the time to give them a try. Number 8. Soma Soma is another one of Frictional Games' masterpieces. It controls very similarly to Amnesia The Dark Descent, but the narrative takes a definitive upward turn. Philosophical questions about the exact meaning of consciousness are presented to you thanks to a narrative that deals with humanity's attempt to cope with an extinction event. However, despite these grandiose leanings, Soma does not wholly abandon its horror roots. Set in a dilapidated deep sea research facility, Soma features deformed creatures kept alive by the area's general AI, and they shamble after your character in these creaking and leaking hallways of horror. If you love pondering the meaning of life while dipping into a fantastic cosmic horror experience, Soma is just for you. Number 7. Inside a game does not need to be riddled with bloody scenes or heart-stopping jump scares in order to be considered a top-notch horror game. As a matter of fact, the most important thing a game needs to have to be one in this genre is the right atmosphere, and Inside has atmosphere in spades for days. Without ever having a character in the game utter a single word, Inside tells a gripping story of a boy running from hostile forces that are out to capture him, murder him, or even worse. It does this by amazing environmental storytelling techniques. Even though gameplay mechanics deal with platforming and puzzle solving, excellent sound design, camera placement, and backgrounds cue players in to what's going on around them. Inside never directly tells you about the world, and the ending is ambiguous as heck, but it keeps you riveted right through to the astounding and dark and ominous conclusion. Number 6. The Evil Within 2 while the successor to the first Evil Within is not as grimly horrific as the original, it still maintains the same gruesome, nightmare-like visuals. Detective Sebastian Castellanos is back, but this time it's personal for him. In an attempt to rescue his daughter, he must dive back into the world of STEM once more. A purportedly idyllic mental community has been overrun by a sadist's imaginings, and players have to trudge alongside Sebastian as he navigates through these horrors. There is a campiness to The Evil Within 2 that is mostly missing from the first game, making it somewhat arguably less frightening. While you might guffaw at Sebastian participating in an arcade shooting minigame while his daughter remains in mortal peril, you'll also cower in terror whenever Ghost Lady Anima decides to show up for a visit. Yeah, that's pure nightmare fuel. Number 5. Dead Space 2 
The first Dead Space, along with its 2023 remake, was frightening enough, but Visceral Games decided to outdo themselves with the sequel back in the day. Players return into the engineering shoes of Isaac Clarke as he struggles with horrific visions of his dead girlfriend and the rise of the gruesome and ominous necromorphs. Even though Clarke is more than capable of tackling these monsters, the horrors that await him are still downright terrifying, and the return to the Ishimura is as fright-packed as you remember. Its availability on the Xbox Game Pass library is a horror lover's dream. The sequel brings back everything you liked about the original, and then some. New necromorph types, new weapons, new armor for Isaac, you name it, it's got it. And the best part? Dead Space 2 improved the zero-g controls from the last game. Enough said. Number 4, Back for Blood. The world's been waiting for a cooperative zombie survival experience that, at minimum, holds a candle to Left 4 Dead's distinct brand of horde slaying, run and gun madness for a long, long time. While not as magically macabre or as timeless as the two Left 4 Dead games, Back 4 Blood more than fills the void. Jump into the role of a cleaner, whose sole job is to dispose of endless amounts of ridden that practically fall over themselves in the rush to swipe at you. Back 4 Blood's campaign can be a breeze on the easiest difficulty setting and with three competent friends at your side, but the higher levels and intriguing card system ensure no two playthroughs will ever be the same. Number 3, Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice. The immersion found in Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice is simply top notch. Players are placed in control of Senua as she seeks to save the soul of her dead lover by traveling to Helheim. However, her mental illness and its accompanying symptoms continually plague her through the game, and players are given the opportunity to see what it is like to experience auditory hallucinations and visual disorientation as a result. Senua's journey is harrowing, and that's the point. Grotesque figures attack Senua, and whether they be real or figments of her mind, their danger to her is quite real. The horror of her struggles is really unlike anything seen in other titles of the genre. Number 2, Dead by Daylight. Asymmetric multiplayer titles can, ironically, turn out to be rather lopsided experiences, but Dead by Daylight's horror spin on the formula really manages to pull itself off. Pitting one killer against up to four survivors successfully channels the tense vibe of a typical horror story setup, as the killer punishes reckless individual behaviors. Conversely, the killer can be stunted by well-coordinated cooperation. Dead by Daylight has seen continuous updates since its release, adding great bits of DLC channeling horror greats. Packs are available that allow players to take on universes ranging from classics like Halloween and Silent Hill to more recent hits like Stranger Things. Number 1, The Walking Dead, the complete first season. Telltale's The Walking Dead isn't just a horror game, but the troubled studio's lasting legacy in gaming as a whole. Borrowing the wildly popular universe established by Robert Kirkman's comic book series of the same name, The Walking Dead follows the evolution of young protagonist Clementine as she develops from an impressionable and fearful child into a stalwart and seasoned survivor well suited to the rigors of the zombie infested post apocalypse. In true Telltale fashion, players will need to navigate dialogue options thoughtfully and remember the impact they will register on other characters down the line and in the moment. If ever one needs a game that's emblematic of Telltale's design philosophy, this one's it in the form of the complete first season on Xbox Game Pass. And there we have it, 10 of the very best horror games to enjoy on Xbox Game Pass right now, if you're up for some good spooks, frights, and bumps in the night. Thanks so much for watching this video from Game Rant. Have a truly wonderful and happy day. See you in the next video. Bye bye.